the day I found the dress. I stopped short at my own reflection as two important facts overwhelmed me. I knew I was staring at the most beautiful, most perfect dress I'd ever seen. And the greatest man I'd ever known, my father, would never see me in it. His soul was far gone. So many blessings in my life, but I wasn't going to get that one. I'm the oldest of three headstrong daughter daughters, and uh, <laughs> we were his house full of women with loud voices and even louder opinions. Mm -hmm. That's what he always used to say. But I know we secretly made him proud when we used our voices and stood for what was right. You see, my father taught me how the world works, and I'll never forget how he told me that no matter what happens, love has the greatest power of all. I'd say, yes, daddy. He'd say, no, no, when you finally fall in love, you'll understand exactly what I mean. And there I was, so in love, I wanted to spend my life with someone. I found the perfect husband, the perfect dress, and I was empty. They say he never knew what happened when the car came at him from the other lane. They did everything they knew to save him, but nothing could keep him with us. When we all arrived at the hospital to help my mom make the final decision, it was there, in that room, that we discovered something we never knew about him. Since learning how to drive, he had always been an organ donor. Because souls go to heaven, he had told my mother. But my body and organs won't. We never could have guessed how the generosity of his one simple decision would lead to saving so many lives. But we watched it. We witnessed it. We lived it. And so, I was the first of his daughters to walk down the aisle, alone. I'd been given all the options, but nothing felt right. But this bride, <laughs> like her father, is also full of surprises. Without a word to anyone, I became a secret agent on a, a mission. Uh, phone calls and letters followed by secret meetings to make the arrangements. I discovered there is a powerful network of people behind these donor miracles, keeping identities protected and those who wish to remain anonymous private. Well, my months of wedding preparation included the ultimate quest to include, in some way, the man who made me, the man who raised me, the man who I've always wanted so much to make proud with my life. And so on the day, wearing the dress, <laughs> I surprised them all. I walked down that aisle with a stranger on my arm. I could hear whispers of confusion as everybody wondered who he could possibly be. And then it was asked, who gives this woman to be married? And the stranger placed my open hand on his chest and turned for everyone to hear as he said, her father's heart, her father's heart does. And it was in that moment between us that I felt the profound wonder at being given a second chance at life. My father was right. There is no greater power. There is no greater gift than being a donor. My father's beautiful heart walked me down that aisle because our souls live on in heaven while our hearts give life on earth.